If you have fear of losing your home because you have interest in a reverse mortgage and the benefits it offers, this video is for you. Welcome back. My name is Art Alvarez. I'm with Mortgage Works, where we have the answers and they're on the house. Reverse mortgages can create a lot of confusion in the marketplace. One of the things we get asked about a lot is whether or not they are safe. Now that's an interesting question because it underscores the fact that folks don't realize what a reverse mortgage is. And the key to understand a reverse mortgage is it's a mortgage just like any other. If you've had a first mortgage on your home in the past, a reverse mortgage is a mortgage just like that one. It's a recorded mortgage lien on your property. The difference is how you pay it back. Now you're not required to make monthly payments on a reverse mortgage, but you're allowed to if you'd like. The other big fallacy with a reverse mortgage is the lender or the bank does not own your home. You own the home. Now they have a secured lien against your home, but that's true when you previously had a first mortgage on your home where you were making monthly payments. Again, with a reverse mortgage, it's a recorded lien against your property, but the difference is you don't have to pay it back. The loan doesn't have to be paid back until you exit the home. Now, typically that would be either because you've passed away or maybe because you have to exit the home and go into long-term care. If one of those two situations occur, you do then have to pay the loan back. So at that point when you've exited the home, whether again because you've passed away or because you've had to leave the home to enter into long-term care that may go on for more than 12 months, the loan does have to be paid back but that doesn't involve the bank taking your home. Instead, your estate, your family, will have options in terms of how to pay it back. They can choose to sell the home. And if there's a deficiency balance in selling the home, meaning the loan balance is higher than the sale price of the home, this is a non-recourse loan. What that means is that you're not gonna be held or your family's not gonna be held responsible for the deficiency balance on the payoff. Another option is your family can choose to keep the home. They simply have to refinance it to get a traditional mortgage on it to pay off the reverse mortgage. Or if the family has sufficient liquid assets, they can use those assets to pay off the loan in full. Another option, which is not well understood, is the estate, the family, can choose to do a deed in lieu of foreclosure. What this means is they can simply deed the property back to the lender. And the last option, if so chosen, is the family or estate can choose to let the home go to foreclosure. So in all these ways, the reverse mortgage can be paid off or uh, taken care of without having to lose the home unless, of course, the family decides to sell it. Most people don't realize that a reverse mortgage, most of them anyway, made in the U.S. are actually FHA loans. They're officially known as a HECM, Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, and they're administered by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Now, one of the complaints about a reverse mortgage is the cost particularly the mortgage insurance. Well, the whole purpose of the mortgage insurance is to establish the non-recourse nature of the loan. What that means in times where the home has to be sold, where the family or the estate decides to sell the home rather than keep it after the owner has exited the home, in a down market where the value of the home may be less than what the reverse mortgage balance is, the family or estate is concerned about are they gonna be held responsible for the deficiency balance? The answer is no. That's what the FHA mortgage insurance is for. So if a lender uh, is going to be paid off with an amount that's less than what is owed on the reverse mortgage after the family has sold the home, they don't go after the family for the deficient balance. Instead, they submit a claim to FHA to get reimbursed for that deficiency balance. So for all these reasons, a reverse mortgage is actually a very safe program and in fact is designed to ensure that not only the borrower, but subsequently their family or estate are not gonna be unduly burdened with the reverse mortgage at the time that it has to be paid off. With home values up, though concerned that they may start dropping soon, now may be the perfect time to pursue a reverse mortgage and understand the benefits they can provide you. My information's on the screen, Art Alvarez at Mortgage Works, where we have the answers, they're on the house, Give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to you about the benefits of the reverse mortgage and how they can help you enjoy your retirement years.